Even though it's a celebratory day in the nation's capital, many minds are still thinking back to January 6th, the day Trump supporters violently stormed the Capitol building. And now we are getting new details on the alleged role of a Harrisburg woman. Joe Holden reports. Well, despite saying she would not be taken alive, Riley June Williams from Harrisburg surrendered to federal authorities. She has been hit with four federal charges in connection to her alleged actions inside the U.S. Capitol building. 22-year-old Riley Williams had plans to sell Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi's laptop to a friend in Russia, who would in turn then sell it to Russia's intelligence agency. That allegation is among the most damning in a nine-page summary filed by federal prosecutors on Tuesday, and it comes with a federal charge that could send her to prison for 20 years. Williams was arraigned and held pending a preliminary hearing on Thursday. Video purports to show Williams traveling through the Capitol, directing rioters upstairs. Posts from her social media claim she boasted about taking Pelosi's laptop. Philadelphia defense attorney Bill Brennan spoke with us about the case. And while his firm is representing some defendants who are outside the Capitol building, he is not involved in the Riley Williams prosecution. Joe, it's not like she took the speaker's lipstick tube. It's her laptop. Look at the drama that uh, former uh, Secretary of State Clinton went through with regard to the use of a laptop, uh, confidential uh, secret information, protected information vis-a-vis, -vis, you know, emails and uh, uh, normal text. I mean, who knows what could be on that particular laptop if she did in fact take it. The item that she's accused of taking is, is a very sensitive item. I'd, I'd rather have the podium guy than have her. Williams' court-appointed counsel told a magistrate yesterday she was prepared to present evidence claiming at least some of the allegations were false. Another hearing is set for tomorrow. In Center City, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.